Year 6 Maths Revision, Mixed Calculations and Topics, Spring 1, Part 16. There are 10 questions and for each number you choose either A or B and you can do both. Sometimes you have to do both. Pause the video while you work it out. When you are finished, press play and I will talk through the method and give the answers. OK, here we have two sets of fractions to multiply. Press pause, then we'll do it together. So when we multiply fractions, we go across the bottom, the denominators, across the top, the numerators. 4 times 6 is 24. 3 times 5 is 15. We cannot simplify that any further. Now for this one, we have got a mixed number, so we're going to change that first. 1 times 3 is 3, plus 1 is 4, so it's 4 thirds, and we can keep 2 fifths the same. 4 times 2 is 8, 3 times 5 is 15, so it's 8 15, so we can't simplify that any further. Okay, press pause. Right, four, so when we multiply fractions, the denominator, denominator says the same, and the way to remember is we times the top, we times the numerator. 7 times 4 is 28. Now, if you want to give that in its simplest form, it's going to be a mixed number. 5 goes into 28 5 times. So there's 5 holes with 3 fifths left over. Let's do the same on this side. We multiply the top number. 4 times 3 is 12. So it's 12 elevenths. If you want to give your answer in its simplest form as a mixed number, 11 goes into 12 once with one eleventh left over. Now we have fractions divided by a whole number. Press pause. Okay, so we do the opposite. The numerator stays the same and we times the denominator. 4 times 8 is 32. So 32, the 332 twos. We cannot simplify that any further. Okay, over on this side, 6 is going to stay the same. 8 times 7 is 56. Now, we can simplify this. Well, first off, they're both even numbers. So, if we divide them both by 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 56 divided by 2 is 28. And we cannot simplify that any further. 3 28ths. We have to add these fractions. Press pause. OK, so we can't add these fractions on 4a because the denominators are different. So... We are going to change them to be the same. So three fifths and one half. So what we need to do is, I know that five, 10, 15, 20, 25, two, four, six, eight, 10. 10 is a common multiple of both five and two. So we're gonna put 10 here, 10 here, 5 times 2 is 10, so we do 3 times 2 is 6. 2 times 5 is 10, so we do 1 times 5, which is 5. 10 stays the same, so we've got 11 tenths. 1 and 1 tenth is a mixed number in its simplest form. Here, we have 2 sixths add 2 fifths. Sorry, 2 holes and 1 sixth add 2 fifths. So we'll change them so they have the same denominator, so we can add them. But first, we have to change the mixed number into a improper fraction. 2 times 6 is 12 plus 1, 13 sixths. And then add 2 fifths. Now, if we're going to look at the 6 times table and the 5 times table... The, the common multiple is 30. So, 5 times 
5 times 6 is 30, so we do the same to this 2. 2 times 6 is 12. And here, we have got 6 times 5 is 30. So we need to do 13 times 5. Five times three is 15, carry the one. Five times one is five, so it's 65. So 65 thirtieths add 12 thirtieths. 65 add 12 is 77. 60, 70, yeah, seven. 77 thirtieths. Now 30 goes into 77 twice because 30 add 30 is 60. So let's change colour. So it's two holes. And then 77 take away 60 is 17. And 17 thirtieths. Here we have a whole number. Subtract a decimal on 5a. And on 5b a decimal. Subtract a decimal. Press pause then we'll do it together. Okay, 9 subtract 2.7. Look how I have lined up the 1's digits. And I'm putting a decimal point in my answer box. Decimal point after 9 and a 0. 0 take away 7, I can't. So this becomes 8, 10. 10 take away 7 is 3. 8 to 8 is 6. 6.3. 6 subtract 0 0.24. Now, we've got a decimal point here. We've lined up the 3 and the 0 because they're both in the 1's column. And I'm going to add a 0 here so that I have something to subtract 4 from. 0 subtract 4 I can't do. So I'm going to cross that out, make that into 4, 10. 10 subtract 4 is 6. 5 subtract 2 is 2. Sorry, 4 subtract 2 is 2. 3 subtract 0 is 3, and then a 2. So it is 23.26. And that would get 23.50. Now we can just check by adding it up again. So 0 0.24 at 23.26 should get us back to 23.5. So... 4 at 6 there, 5, yeah, and that's how you can check your answers. Add this to this when it's a subtraction and you should come back to your original number. Okay, you now have to find fractions of both these numbers. Press pause, then we'll do it together. Okay, so we did divide by the denominator times by the numerator. 36 divided by 6 is 6. And then 6 times 2 is 12. 637 divided by 7. 7 goes into 6, 0 times, carry the 6. 7 goes into 63, 9 times, no remainder. 7 goes into 7, 1 times, so 91. And now we times it by 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 9 times 5 is 45. So it's... 455. Now we have decimals multiplied by whole numbers. The first one's one digit, the second one is two digits. Press pause and we'll do it together. So 3.25 times 3. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. 3 times 3 is 9. So it's 9.75. For this one, 23.7 times 28. Now remember, when we multiply, we don't have to line up the ones with the ones. So we do that when we're adding and subtracting, but when we multiply, it's different. There are going to be two answer rows because it's a two-digit number. So I've put my decimal place in ready. 
And then we're going to have our total box with a, I always say decimal place, decimal point, I mean. And it should be at the bottom. So, 8 times 7 is 56. Give me the 5. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 5 is 29. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 2 is 18. I'm going to cross out my 8, my 5 and my 2. I'm going to put a 0 here because we're actually multiplying by 20. I'm going to say 2, but it's 20. 2 times 7 is 14. 4 goes here, 1 here. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we can add 6. 9 add 4 is 13. Now if you look at this, I'm going to show you a trick. 8, 7, 1. Well, 7 add 1 is 8, and double 8 is 16. Carry the 1. 4, 5, 6. So it's 6... 163.6 please write the name number of faces and number of vertices press pause then we'll do it together this first one is a triangular based pyramid i'm going to make it smaller so that i can actually write it out so triangular Based pyramid. Number of faces is five. Number of vertices is five. So four vertices around the bottom, one on the top. Faces, four on the side, one on the bottom. This is a cube. It's a cube because they're all square faces the same size. Six faces. And eight vertices. I'd like you to write the fraction equivalent for each decimal. Press pause and then have a go. So 0 0.5 is half. 0 0.25 is quarter. 0 0.01 is one hundredth. 0 0.75 is three quarters. 0 0.125 is one eighth. 0 0.33 is one third, and 0 0.1 is one tenth. The factors of 20, the factors of 42. Press pause and we'll do it together. Okay, 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 10 is 20. It's not in the threes. 4 times 5 is 20. It is in the fives, but we've done 4 times 5, not in the six, seven, eight, nines, tens, tens. Right, okay. The six factors. 1, 22, 10, 5 and 4, or 3 pairs. Factors of 42. 1 times 42. Definitely going to be in the 2s because it's an even number. 2 times 21. It is in the 12s. Now, the reason I know it's in the 12s is because if you break down... Well, first off, the digits equal... 6, and 6 is a multiple of 3. And 42 is, if you break down 42, it breaks down into 30 and 12. 10 times 3 is 30, 4 times 3 is 12. So it's 3 times 14. It's not in the 4s, because... 10 times 4 is 40, 11 times 4 is 44, not in the 5s, it is in the 6s, 6 times 7 and 7 times 6. It's not in the 8s, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 and that's it. So there are 4 factor pairs and 8 factors. Right, that is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you think that you did one wrong or you don't stand, go back and check. If you think I did do one wrong, let me know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.